If you're unfamiliar with the font Times New Roman, I don't understand where you have been because it's all over the place. Whether it be newspaper articles or awful resumes. But for the many of you who do know what the font is, uh, I'm pretty sure you do not ask yourself, where in the flux capacitor did this font come from? Well, I'm here to answer your question, but to do that we gotta delve back in time. And what better way to go than to see the man himself, John Baskerville. To be completely fair, he did not make exactly Times New Roman. He, in fact, he made the font Baskerville of all things. But what John Baskerville did do was he introduced the transitional period of typography. And wouldn't you know it, Times New Roman was actually made in the transitional period. As far as documentations go though, there's nothing for his childhood other than he was born in 1706 in Wolverley. But we do know how his career started. He was a man who did work on gravestones, and then later on he decided to work on Japanning. Japanning is basically the process of making lacquerware, and lacquerware is basically furniture covered in lacquer, and lacquer is basically a material that makes things shiny. I don't understand why it's set up this convoluted, but here we are. The important thing, though, is that lacquer uses a lot of ink, and this is going to be very important, so keep that in the back of your head. Eventually, though, Baskerville did decide to stop with Japaning, and eventually he decided to aspire to become a printer. But during his time during printing, he decided to make his own font, and then he decided to translate a book titled Virgil. With that exact same font, and wouldn't you know it, it took him three years to create it. In 1757, even though, he did release it, and not only was it well liked, but the University of Cambridge asked him to be one of their very own personal printers. And while he was working there, he printed a version of the Bible, which is A, rare, and B, weird, because he was an atheist. I don't know whether he was paid well, lost any aspirations of his life, or some twisted combination of the two, but it's weird regardless. Also, the reason why it's rare to officially print out a Bible is because there was a lot of misinformation being spread around. That's why there are multiple versions of it. So you gotta be a completely 100% trusted printer in order to print the Bible. And it was given to an atheist. Also not to mention, he was a fantastic printer. In fact, he was the best of his kind back in the day because he applied his knowledge of Japaning back into printing. So in a way, you could thank him for improving our printing industry too. And to top it all off, Benjamin Franklin even endorsed his work. Which, there's another thing to point out about this. While Benjamin Franklin was considered to be a genius for trying to electrocute himself with a kite, he was also a printer himself. Thus, Benjamin Franklin took Baskerville's work and took it over to the US, which is why we have Times New Roman today. Now, with all of this being said and done, why is Baskerville not exactly popular? You remember how I was talking about he was using Japaning to make sure that his printing was as crisp as possible? Well, it worked a little bit too well. There were a lot of competitors who tried to denounce his work mostly because they were jealous of him. And, get this, there was an argument that John Baskerville's pages were so sharp it could actually damage your eyes. I am not kidding, this is actually a thing. With all the denouncing and with all the rumors going on, John Baskerville eventually became obscure. And in 1775, he eventually passed away. So for those of you that want Times New Roman but not Times New Roman at the same time, I'd say go for Baskerville. There are many variations of it, and I heard some of them are even free, so go ahead, give it a shot, there's no risk. I'm pretty sure he'd appreciate it from beyond the grave, as in fact his grave was actually demolished by a lot of people, and his body was even showcased for a peep show because he was an atheist. People were so hardcore back then.